What's up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk Michael here today with another video. And before Kansas City Chiefs fans, you know, write me at, um, things about how I'm wrong. Listen, no disrespect to Patrick Mahomes. I think he's probably the best quarterback in the NFL right now. Well, I wouldn't say probably. He is certainly the best quarterback in the NBA, uh, in the NFL right now. It's certainly that Patrick Mahomes is probably – not not one of the but the best young one of the best young quarterbacks to ever start in the NFL. Like he's had a better he he's already had a better young career than the majority of these players or Hall of Famers that started off in the NFL. Like I think Mahomes is already better than Peyton Manning and he's already better than uh, Ben Roethlisberger and He's better than obviously Eli, which is really not saying much, if because Mahomes is light years better than Eli, but Mahomes is up there with the Mannings, the Montanas, the the Bradys, the what, however you would uh, put Mahomes in all time. But. I feel like RJ did a video on this two days ago saying that Patrick Mahomes is the most overhated quarterback, which is true. I think Mahomes is overhated because, you know, people need a villain to root against and they view Patrick Mahomes as a villain that they need to root against. But Mahomes, the reason why I say he's the luckiest quarterback in NFL history because he was put in the right situation to, to, to succeed. He basically was drafted to a team that was winning the AFC West for a lot of years. They were defending um, AFC uh, West divisional champions for a very, very long time. Even with Alex Smith, who was below average, they still won the uh, AFC West because they had a very good head coach and they had good weapons around. Mahomes obviously made them better than they already were, but you can't say that Patrick Mahomes on a different team like the Browns, the the Bears, the Giants, or any uh, any below team that you can think of from that 2017 NFL draft, you, really, you statistically can't say that Mahomes on a horrible team would have won a ring. Like, that's just not possible. Because when it comes to quarterback success in the NFL, you have to have a great team around your quarterback in order for them to succeed. Mahomes was blessed when he got drafted. When he started, he had Tyreek Hill. He had Travis Kelsey. He had, he had, he had a Kareem Hunt was dominating before he uh, uh, got caught doing a, a legal shit. But it's just like these fans think that Patrick Mahomes can grow on trees. And R RJ, he thinks that oh, if they had Patrick Mahomes, they would have uh, um, won the Super Bowl with him. No, no, I don't think so. Not necessarily. Mahomes obviously needed to go to a team that was well made for him and well coached. And he was blessed. He was blessed with those two things, a great team and a very good head coach head coach it's just like and plus Mahomes wasn't talked about and people would say oh what if the Chiefs drafted uh RJ mentioned this uh what if the Chiefs um ended up drafting Trubisky or um Deshaun Watson you can't Watson could have been a different scenario where they probably would have won one Super Bowl out of Watson because Watson was very good it was just the Texans were a horrible team as for Trubisky it would be the same scenario as Alex Smith, you know, getting to the playoffs being pro maybe they win a playoff game, but they'll, they would never get past the hump because Trubisky, I know a lot of some bears fans don't like him, but I actually like Trubisky, but he's not a, he, he wasn't a above average quarterback. He was below average for the most part. He didn't have a good deep arm and, you know, his only, the only thing that Trubisky did well was, you know, he his legs were extending plays. Or, like, on broken plays, get out of the pocket, like, scrambling. But Matt Nagy didn't want to do that. But 
It's just like people are forgetting the context that Mahomes was pr- brought in in the right situation at the right time. Is he going to be better than – is he going to be Brady? I don't think so. Being Brady's hard. Being Brady means you have to have like seven – seven or more Super Bowls. It's very hard to be Tom Brady. Quarterbacks don't grow on trees, bro. At the end of the day, you get what you get. As a Bears fan myself, looking at Patrick Mahomes and viewing him being a great, it's good. I I want Patrick Mahomes, but at the end of the day, he would have been a failed on fail on the Bears. Let's let's call it space to space. You know, we didn't have a good offensive line. We didn't have and who was he really going to have? A Rob was a position receiver at best. He wasn't a, anywhere near like a Tyree Kill, and we didn't have a very good tight end core either. All, all we had was Trey Burton, Adam Shaheem. <laughs> Travis Kelsey is light years better than those than those than those two. Like y'all just think because. Patrick Mahomes, uh, yeah, made, Mahomes made that team from above average to elite. Not saying that Mahomes was the reason why, but you have to look at the context, bro. Mahomes was literally brought into the perfect situation where he, where it was impossible for him to fail. And majority of people be like, "Oh, the bear." Look, majority of the people don't watch. Texas Tech games, okay? I know my boy RJ says that, oh, I watch Texas Tech, but not majority of these players. Mahomes was, I I have to look at his college years, but I think he was great. It was just he had a horrible head coach, Cliff Kingsbury, which somehow got a job because he coached Patrick Mahomes. But it, it was just Cliff Kingsbury wasn't a very good head coach fit for Patrick Mahomes. It has shown that Patrick Mahomes, even in college, you know, he was great, but, you know, they still had a losing season in the second half because of Cliff Kingsbury. But you really, it's just like Mahomes is lucky. He should be blessed because at the end of the day, we could sit here and say that, oh, what will Mahomes be like if he was on the Browns? the Bears, the Giants, and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, it's not going to matter because we don't know what Patrick Mahomes could have been on those teams because Mahomes was blessed. And we already seen what Patrick Mahomes did when he was missing his two tackles and he got blown out by the Buccaneers. He needed everything perfect around him in order for him to succeed, to be that next step. I wouldn't say that Mahomes had a horrible receiver core last year, but he had above average receivers because people say, oh, Mahomes didn't have any great receivers last year because that because he has Travis Kelsey. He had he has Juju, who I think Juju was above average that year. He he had Kadarius Tony. He had um, who else? Who else on that team? Uh, Marcedi, uh, MVS, Mar- that uh, guy that they got from the Packers, MVS, who was balling when Aaron Rodgers was a quarterback he was he basically was above average when he got there receivers that wouldn't even make the team type of bad that's how people talk about oh Mahomes won a Super Bowl with trash receivers you're acting like the receivers on the Chiefs wouldn't make a uh, roster spot if they were on a team like the Buffalo Bills the 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 Bengals, the the 49ers, even even the Eagles. That but that's just me. But uh let me know in the comment section what you think down below. As always, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and leave a like. As always, thanks for watching.